When I say I'm going to the mill, I'm going to the mill. Uh, I got my wood for uh, the axe handle, and I also got the wood for uh, the uh, three-dimensional blue gun. Actually, I have a lot of it. Heading home. Look at that big, beautiful ball of fire in the sky. It's going to start warming up soon, hopefully. We're at the end of February, so next month is one of those iffy months. You know, you can get 10 inches of snow in one day, and then it can be uh, 60 degrees the next day. So anyhow, yesterday I went to the mill, and I picked up a... Uh, about a 10 foot section of basswood um that piece i was working on was a hunk of maple and it had some some really wicked swirls in it it would have looked good otherwise on uh you know a, a flat surface but for my carving it was just something that i would have worked on for countless hours just trying to uh you know get that swirl uh tamed so this is where we're at so i'm gonna Place. This is a sketch of the three-dimensional bluegill I have, and you can see right here it has plenty of room to fit. In fact, I mean I could make, let's see, two, four, ten other pieces um, of this style. I, I do have eight swim baits coming up. Uh, this is actually way too thick for that, so I do have a piece of wood reserved for the swim baits. But this piece right here. I'm going to lay it out here, I'm going to pair the surface up, sand it smooth so I can transfer the sketch down, and then hopefully today I'll get the background knocked down before I head over to Zim Knives. Um, if you haven't seen his page, Zim Knives, uh, uh, he's a uh, custom knife maker, and he is making me a rescue knife, and it's specifically meant to part lines on a sailboat, or any boat for that matter, but... Um, I'll take a video of that and show you his little workshop again and uh, show you the design that he's working on for me. So I'm going to get back to work. All right, I got this little guy laid out on a piece of wood. So it goes from uh, the sketch to the tracing paper, the tracing paper on top of the wood with a little piece of carbon paper underneath. And this is what you get. So this is my halfway mark. Um, so I'm going to, when I end up routing uh, the background down for carving I'm gonna have to go all the way down here and I do not really know if um, my uh, my hog bit I call it uh, that's the one that just erases a lot of this chunk off I don't know if that's actually gonna get down to this depth so I may have to go out and buy a whole new one uh, we'll see because I don't want to um, route this thing off with uh, uh, just the uh, carbide um, detail bit because then I'll end up burning that thing off. I've had that now for four pieces, so we're getting at the end of its life. There we go. As you can see right here, my uh, what I call my hog bit because it hogs off a heck of a lot of material. Um, I've had this for about three years. And all I do is I just uh, put on the diamond card sharpener and I sharpened up this edge. And it, it does its job, but uh, because this is two inches and that's the center line and I need to get about right to here, that's not going to work. Um, so I am actually going to have to end up burning this blade, which is the cutting surface is actually an inch. So this will be very, very slow going. So... I mean, it is what it is. Um, a bit like this, uh, brand new, is going to be about 50 or 60 bucks. Um, this is an old, uh, I believe it's from Craftsman. Um, and it, it's really old. So, I mean, it served its purpose and it's still going to serve a purpose because as long as I can sharpen this thing, it's going to do its job. But because this is a three-dimensional piece, I'm going to have to go a lot deeper um, and this bit right here is my uh, outlining bit and it is one inch from here down and i really don't need that much but uh so just a sacrifice to get this piece done to sacrifice this piece is actually well worth it <laughs> 